Hi guys, it's Rob from Royal Balls. I've actually been struggling a bit to get videos polished off here. There's been a lot happening in the snake room uh, with lots of clutches all shedding out. And I've shot a lot of video, but I still need to do the intros and outros. So let's get the lavender clutch out of the way. This clutch has fire in it, and the reason that we put fire into lavenders is to try for the cherry bomb. A cherry bomb is a super fire lavender, so a white snake with pink eyes. And you'll see that perhaps fire is not the best choice to put into lavenders. It makes for some awesome hets, and we'll take a look at some of those firefly het lavenders, some of the characteristics of fire. And then we'll take a look at the lavenders, and you can watch me struggle to ID the lavenders. Um, the straight lavender is easy, the rest are actually quite hard. Um, it's very difficult to tell pastel from fire in some of these babies and we may have to wait for them to colour up and get a little bit bigger and for the lavender colour to start to come in before we can actually see whether these are pastel or fire. Um, if anybody can help out there with what to look out for in these babies then uh, please drop down in the comments below and help me out. So we've got five lavenders one is a straight lavender, I think one is a firefly lavender, which is the really pale one, and then we've got three in the middle, which are either fire or pastel, and I don't really know if I'm honest. I said we'd take a look at this lavender clutch after they've shed, which they now have, and I was going to give you a rundown on fire and why some of these babies are as bright as they are. So let's start off with the non-visuals, the hets. If you remember, the pairing was a pastel het lavender to a fire lavender male. So we have the possibility of pastel, fire and firefly in these combos. Let me just give you a look at mum. This is a pastel het lavender. You can see from the body pattern that we have the typical pastel busy alien heads. We still get the alien heads but much much brighter than a normal would be. And we get the pastel blushed head stamp. So typically this female is just about to go into shed and she's a little bit duller than she would normally be but actually not a typical pastel. She is het for lavender which means that she is normally quite a bit brighter than you would expect a normal pastel to be. Same pattern, same colours, same blushed head stamp, just a little bit brighter than you would normally expect pastel to be. And this hissy fellow here is Dad, who is a fire lavender, and he's extremely yellow. If we have a look at the head stamp, if he'll allow us to do so, you can see that the head stamp is very blushed and it's actually white and can you guys see at the top of the head here just here and on the other side like wings to the top of the head stamp so we've got a white head stamp which is arrow shaped with wings or ears at the back of the head behind the eyes and we're going to come back to that in a moment. The pattern you can see still retains alien heads. There are no keyholes in them. But again, the, the alien heads are amalgamated, much more amalgamated than you would expect with pastel. And it's the fire that's doing that. It's extending out these alien heads, particularly at the rear of the snake. And we do have a dorsal stripe here it's very very faint it's white whitish yellow against the yellow so quite hard to see the belly is completely white there is no markings at all on the belly and you'll see that overall this snake is actually for a lavender is very very yellow there's no lavenders in it at all so the fire has made this lavender go completely yellow and the head stamp completely white with yellow borders. This massive girl here is what fire looks like. Just straight fire, no pastel in a het lavender. And the important points to note here is 
we can see banding, a reduced pattern, banding and bow ties along the back. There is no dorsal stripe, it's broken up by cross banding. And as we get towards the tail of the snake, you can see a very strong dorsal stripe at the tail and all the alien heads at the base of the tail here for the last third of the body are completely amalgamated and you see a very strong distinctive dorsal stripe. The belly does have some markings on the edge and if we have a look at the stripes can you see the sawtooth edges to the banding here? It's a very jagged edge on each side of the banding that's characteristic of fire. We lose that when we put it into clown and into lavender. It's very difficult to see, but in the hats you will see this jagged edge to the banding. The head stamp of fire is quite distinctive. It's very, very arrow shaped. It's a very strong V shape which comes to a point at the tip of the nose which other head stamps do not. So if we look at the head stamp here you can see on this girl the head stamp comes to a point and it's very V shaped. It's very arrow shaped and other head stamps don't have that. So fire you can see is also quite bright much brighter than a, a normal would be. There is no pastel in this snake, this is straight fire. The only thing that's doing the brightening is the het lavender. So remember this banding, remember these characteristic bow ties here along the dorsal and we do get some small donuts on the dorsal as well which you'll see in some other examples that I'll show you in a moment. So that's basically what fire does. And when we put pastel into fire and make a firefly, the whole thing gets taken up another notch of brightness. You can see exactly the same pattern. You can see donuts along the dorsal. You can see these vertical stripes and you can also see these characteristic bow tie type shapes along the back of the dorsal. The pastel makes the pattern just a little bit busier and we've kind of lost that amalgamated alien heads at the base of the tail but we still have that tail stripe, very strong tail stripe and some, some amalgamation at the back but pastel has definitely made it busier and again if we look at the banding there you can see the jagged sawtooth edge to the banding so that hasn't gone away with the pastel and the head stamp Again we see that very strong arrow head shape coming to a point on the snout which other head stumps do not. And if you look just behind the head you can see some slight ears. The arrow head starts to widen out. It's almost like the barbs on an arrow head at the back of the head. Again typical fire head stamp and it is as light as pastel would be. There is a lightning caused by fire. So this is what firefly looks like. So now in our babies here it should be easier to see what we're looking at. Fire is a reducing gene so we expect to see donuts, an arrow shaped head stamp, slightly blushed head stamp and we expect to see banding in the body. These guys here are overdue being set up individually and they have actually, one or two of them have taken their first meals in this tub in a group. The only trouble is I don't know which ones. So let's have a look at the heads. There are three of them and I think you can see now the difference between the fireflies. These two on the left here are both fire and pastel and we'll look at that in a moment. This one is just straight pastel. You can see it looks a lot like mum. So the straight pastel still has the alien heads with the keyholes in it. Has the pastel head stamp with the white lips there. 
and you can see how the head stamp is not arrowhead shaped like the fire is. This is a more typical head stamp. So this is pastel head lavender. And these two guys with the banding you can see quite clearly now are Firefly and if we look at if we look at the banding you can see the sawtoothed edges to the banding you can see some donuts on the dorsal striping another donut here let's see if we can find a bow tie there's a slight bow tie here and the head stamp there we go arrowhead joining it to a point at the nose and at the back of the head we've got those slight ears again but you can see that the eye stripes join up behind the back of the head there again typical of fire beautiful banding on this one and flames up the side The other one has similar characteristics. There's more bow tie shapes here along the body, but again you can see the banding and the alien heads have all lost their keyholes. Exactly the same head stamp, an arrowhead head stamp with ears at the back, right at the back of the head stamp, and the eye stripes joining up behind the head. These two are Firefly Het Lavenders and by the looks of these two here I would say this one has already eaten and this one hasn't. Okay, so let's get rid of the Hets. We've had a good look at fire. We're going to come back and look at fire in Clown when we look at this uh, Iron Man clutch. I want to look at head stamps and I also want to compare some of the patterns that we see in the Enshi clowns with what we see in Fire Clowns and Firefly Clowns. So I'll be back in a second after I've just put these hets into their individual tubs and we'll take a look at the visual lavenders. There are five of them. All right so let's come back and look at these five lavenders and we were able to distinguish two of them Let me just pile them up here. So we've got one snake which is very very dark and you can see the head stamp with the orange on the head stamp. We've got one snake which is very very light and then we've got three snakes in the middle which are sort of intermediate. So immediately we know that this one is the straight lavender and you can see that it's got beautiful contrast awesome colors down the side of the snake here it still has characteristic alien heads all we've done is replaced the blacks with white and enhanced the oranges and you can see that beautiful head stamp with the orange in the middle this is a high contrast animal very orange much more orange than the rest of the clutch and this is a female so this one is the straight lavender this one we know is much brighter than the other three so we know that this one is probably pastel fire it's the firefly lavender whereas these the intermediate ones are either fire or pastel but not both and we're going to try and distinguish between these three animals here by looking at some other characteristics other than just the colour. So this really really light coloured one has a totally whited out head stamp but if you look at the head stamp closely let me see if I can show you that it is v-shaped and does have slight ears at the back of the head and the eye stripe does join up around the back of the head so that indicates there's fire in this 
but it is much much paler than the other three so this is the firefly lavender fire and pastel we do get a slight tail stripe but again as we saw with firefly as opposed to just straight fire we don't get the same amalgamation of the alien heads at the back end of the snake. Pastel makes the pattern much much busier than it otherwise would be with fire. So we've got a fire with quite a busy pattern. So that's the fire fly. Versus the straight lavender and the contrast could not be clearer with these two. Similarly, if we pick one of the intermediate ones, again, you can see the contrast with the straight lavender. This one is brighter. And the contrast with the firefly lavender, again, this one is the brighter animal and this one is much more washed out. So we got three of these guys and let's see if we can tell whether they're pastel or whether they're fire. No guarantees here guys, this is actually very hard. If we look at the colours, there is not much to choose between them with I would say subjectively this one being the slightly more orange. And if we look at the head stamps, this one here does have a slightly orange head stamp. These two are both completely white. What I'm looking for now are ears at the back of the head which this one does have. So this seems to have the arrowhead head stamp of fire. Mm, that one not so much. Not sure about that one but it is extremely white. Whereas this one does have some orange in the head stamp. This one also has quite a busy pattern. So of the three, not 100% guys, but I'm going to say that this one is the pastel lavender. whilst these other two slightly less busy slightly more amalgamated alien heads with quite a strong dorsal stripe at the rear of the snake again not sure about this one so I'm going to say this one is the fire it's quite strongly banded so we've got one pastel here and one fire here I think This one overall is a little bit paler than this one. So again, I'm going to say that this one is fire, but no guarantees. That's very, very difficult to tell apart. And we may have to wait for several sheds and see how the lavender actually develops in them and the head stamps develop in them before we actually know 100% what these are. So I'm saying this one is pastel, pastel lavender. And these two here are fire lavender, but I could be wrong. Very difficult to tell apart. What often happens to lavender as it grows is that everything goes a little bit yellow and the lavenders don't really pop out in some of them. But you can see on this girl here, the head stamp has the orange dot in the middle, which is the same as this one. So these two, believe it or not, are actually the same snake and this is what this looks like as it gets older. So these are both straight lavenders. You can see on the tail the very strong dorsal stripe. This also has 
that same orange dorsal stripe on the tail. So I think that we have straight lavender and straight lavender. Pastel lavender on the other hand is a much much lighter colour and retains the whites. It also has a head stamp which retains some colour in the head stamp and it's not the arrowhead head stamp of fire. It doesn't have the ears in the head stamp that that the fire lavender that we looked at in the beginning has. So this is pastel lavender and it does have some poop on its head and this one is probably pastel lavender. It has the same head stamp and as it lightens up with age it's going to go the same colour as this one here. So I believe that this one is the pastel. If we look at the firefly which was the really light one you'll see that the head is completely white on this one and it does have the ears at the back of the head which is not like this guy here. This one this one is going to go completely yellow just like dad as it gets older so we'll know and pastel of course is much much lighter than the straight lavender. So in actual fact the reason that most of these lavenders have fire in them is because we were actually trying for the cherry bomb which is the super fire lavender which is a white snake with red eyes. You see the lavenders all the lavenders all have pink eyes so the cherry bomb would have been a white snake with pink eyes and I, th I think you can see just by comparing these two that actually lavender combinations look better when they retain a little bit of colour and contrast so actually dark jeans are probably better in lavenders. So I will keep this one as a straight lavender, this is a female. This pastel lavender here is also female and the lavender that we looked at earlier is also a female. So I'm picking the ones without fire to work with and add darker jeans as we build up our lavender inventory. So there we go guys, that's these five lavenders. This one I'm pretty certain is a straight lavender with a nice head stamp. This really pale one here this is even paler than dad uh, I think is a firefly lavender so those are the two extremes and the middle three guys I am very hard pressed to be a hundred percent certain on these I've said one of them is pastel, this one with a slight head stamp and these two are the fires but I do not know, not 100% certain, not in these combos, it is very very difficult to tell apart so if anybody can tell these three apart and tell me what to look for I would be very grateful. Uh, I will get a second opinion on these but again it's going to be very difficult to actually tell them apart until They've had a few sheds, a few meals, and they start to cover up, which lavender inevitably does. So we've got three here, which I'm calling two fires and one pastel, but I could be completely wrong. All right, so there we go. I'm going to get these set up individually now and see which ones we'll eat. So that's the lavender clutch dealt with. All right, guys, so that's the lavender clutch. As I say, drop down in the comments below if you have any questions or if you have any hints on how I can tell these apart. Um, I will be holding on to them until they colour up a little bit. I do have a number of videos stacked up for you guys, and I'll be doing one on New Year's Eve 
with the 2022 roundup and we'll be looking at the best snakes that I've produced this year and also looking at some of my statistics just to give you guys some idea. I've had a fantastic year in terms of quality but quantity um, not one of my biggest years. I have been a little bit more selective this year. ARP has also not bred this year and so I haven't seen that many clutches this year but the Iron Man clutch guys. The Iron Man clutch oh wow it has shed out and it is magnificent and I have obviously another video on that which we'll be looking at in the new year plus we have the Desert Ghost clutch uh, which will be shedding out and to be honest after the Iron Man clutch the Desert Ghost clutch is a little bit of an anti-climax I can't believe I'm saying that but we will be reviewing the Desert Ghosts after they've shed out as well so stay tuned for that thanks for watching don't hesitate to jump down into the comments below and help me out here guys thanks for watching don't forget to share like and subscribe and we'll see you tomorrow